In this video, you will learn how to easily set up a new site-to-site -site VPN connection. Start by clicking on Network and then on Site-to-Site -site VPN. Now, click on Add VPN Connection. Here you will create your new Site-to-Site -site VPN connection. Let's begin! Start by choosing a name for your new VPN Site-to-Site -site connection. For example, if your company headquarters is in New York and you are connecting to your LA branch, you can call it New York to LA or choose a name that would be easy to differentiate from your other connections. By clicking on Active, you will activate your connection. For security purposes, the Encryption option will be set to Active, but if you prefer to deactivate it, click on the Off button. Now, enter your peer's serial number. Doing this will establish the connection between your PEPLINK router and your peer's router. For example, if you are connecting to your LA office, you will need the LA site's serial number to establish the connection between both sites. In addition to the peer serial number, you could create a pre-shared key to add an additional security measure to your connection. In order for a pre-shared key to work, both sides have to enter the password set on either side to establish a connection successfully. Now, enter the peer IP address or the host name of the site you're connecting to. Inputting this information on one side is enough to establish the connection between both sides so you can skip this step when setting up your other device. To complete, click on Save. You have just completed setting up your PEPLINK site-to-site -site VPM. It really is that easy. Now click on Apply Changes to go back and see what changed in the main dashboard. As you can see, a new connection has been created under the Site-to-Site -Site VPN section of the dashboard. The VPN connection is now connected and has changed from Connecting to Established. And the small green lock states the connection is currently active. You can also easily fine-tune your VPN connection. First, let's go back to the VPN profile by clicking on Network and then on Site-to-Site -Site VPN. Here you will be able to optimize your Site-to-Site -Site VPN connections by prioritizing the WAN connection it uses. Now, let's discover the different ways you can set the priority levels of your WAN connections. For example, if you set WAN 1 and WAN 2 to Priority 1, they will both work simultaneously to maintain optimal load balance at the highest priority. If you set WAN 3 to Priority 2, it will start working automatically if WAN 1 and WAN 2 stop working. And finally, if you set WAN 4 to Off, it won't work at all for the VPN connection. When you are happy with the settings, click on Save. After setting up your new connection, the interface will return to the Site-to-Site -Site VPN page. PEPLINK Site-to-Site -Site VPN can fail over to another connection if a connection fails. Let's see how you can adjust the responsiveness of the Link Failover Detection. Under the Link Failover Detection tab, you will be able to choose preset intervals for regular health and maintenance checks that will be conducted automatically. These health checks will make sure that all of your sites are connected properly. Just bear in mind that choosing a higher frequency may affect the speed of your connection. We recommend the default of 15 seconds, which is the default setting, but it's entirely up to you. To complete, click on Save and then on Apply Changes. Now we are back to the dashboard. Access all your VPN connection details by clicking on Status. Here you will get access to your IP name and connections. And finally, click on the arrow to find out which tunnel is available for bonding. Congratulations! You have configured your Site-to-Site -Site VPN successfully. Thanks for watching! For more information, visit peplink.com.